I'm Kaylee from createwithkaylee.com and this month we are um, highlighting stamping which is kind of my happy place so this one I thought would be relatively easy to do but in fact it actually turned out to be a little harder because I have to try and limit myself because otherwise I could be on here for maybe like two hours showing you like 20 different stamping things that I do on scrapbook so I've decided to kind of take it back to simple um, and do a just show you how you can just use stamping and kind of just feature the stamping rather than doing a million techniques. So I'm starting with a nice bright blue 12 by 12. The reason for this is because I'm scrapping two photos that I've just taken. Um, I just got back from a trip to Orlando where I presented a conference and I really wanted to take these photos and put the memories down on a page. Uh, you'll notice that the photos aren't very good quality. Um, my printer I think is playing up. But I really just wanted to use these photos, so I'm going to put up with the fact that the, the photo quality isn't great and I'll just replicate it later when I get the professional ones done. So I'm just going to um, cut these out. Now what I'm actually going to do is um, cut a little border all the way around the image and then I don't actually have to layer it, it's a little trick. The little trick I like to do for this is li line the inside of the grid track against the line of the photo and that means you're going to have a really standard size border going all the way around. I'm actually probably not going to do the same for the other photo because you don't really need to see all of that. Okay so there's my base photo that is going to go down here in the corner just tidy those edges up a little bit and then I'm going to have this photo coming off on the side. So let's just cut this one down because I do not want all of the edges on this one. Okay, So I will leave this side though because this is going to be hidden so we're not bothered about that. Now I think there's something about when um, I print on um, I print on cardstock on my printer but I think you need to leave it for a little bit longer because if you don't leave it it's too wet and it, it peels at the edge but I'll show you a trick on how to fix that after. So I've just realised I printed on white but I wanted to use cream that probably won't work. I'll have to get a different colour. Okay so I wanted to pull in the colour from my dress so I'm just going to back this photo. Again let's just quickly measure it five and a quarter so let's go five and a half and then what is it this way let's see seven and a half I know some people like to just stick their photo down on the card and then cut around I just have no chance of doing that like I just cannot make that work so kudos to you if you can I think I'm going to do the same with this one, just so that it's symmetrical. I like to just do a quarter of an inch border on all of mine. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half, but obviously your photos will probably be different sizes. Okay. I'm lay those down like that. And then what I want is some shininess in here. So I'm going to stick this down. And this is just some um, metallic foil sheets. And I've just cut it down to six inches. I say I cut it down as if I did that ahead of time. That was just the piece that I grabbed from my box and it happens to be the perfect size. So I'm also just going to cut a strip of this card down to two inches. Oh, I need I need to get white because it's not going to match. So this is going to be my sentiment bar, and it's going to fit in like that. Okay. 
that's basically my layout. And then what I'm going to do is have, I've got three different stamp sets to use today. Um, two of them being letter stamps, alphabet stamps, because I really want to have a phrase in my head. I want, I want to say dream here and then dream it and do it is what I want. So if we start by sticking, in fact, no, we won't start by sticking. What I'm going to do is I also want to create some texture in the background. I'm using the Christmas stamp set called Beautiful Blizzard, but I'm going to use this to create some texture on the background. This is one of the things that stamps are really great at. It's creating texture and adding dimension. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this in the same colour that I'm using as, as my background. So I'm going to stamp ink on ink, uh, colour on colour, sorry. So it just means it's going to look the same. It's going to be the same colour, but it's just going to blend into the background. Now this is a special textured stamp, so it really does add quite a lot of texture to it. I'm just going to keep on going. I want it to be a little bit more gradient than that. And then I'm going to do the same in the bottom corner. As if it's just flowing down. Okay. So now I've done that. I'm going to stick this piece down. I'm just going to use some Tombow wet glue. Sorry, I think that might be enough camera. Just stick that down, like so. And this is going to be used as a guide so that I can do my letters. Okay, so what I like to do with my stamps is line them up. I mean, especially when I'm using photopolymer, which is these where you can see straight through them. I like to line them off onto the page sorry, so that I can see exactly where they're going to go. And it does also help when you've just put something down because that does mean it, you've got like a line to, to guide yourself. So for this one, I'm not going to do uh, color on color. I'm gonna go for a very similar color, but just a little bit darker, just to add um, something to it. I'm now using a colour called Light of Navy, which is just like a shade uh, darker. And because I've laid all of these out now, all I need to do is just pick them up one by one. I'm just going to make sure that they're all even. And pick it up, ink it up, and then stick it down. Okay, and then oh, ink on the fingers, go for the next one, it's really hard to line this up on camera because I actually, I would stand over this. <laughs> to go so that E is just slightly out but that's fine okay so that one's terrible so let's just do that one again and that is the benefit of using photopolymer is that you can just stamp over it. Okay, so I have got my dream and then I am gonna finish off my sentiment. So I cut out that two inch piece of card. Uh, card. Okay, 
and now I can't find it. But what I'm going to do on that one is write my sentiment. And what this one is going to say is, go do it. So again, just using my little words, I'm going to repeat the same thing that I just did. In fact, this is this sunset set is supposed to make it look like you are lettering. So actually, you don't need to line them up because you can see through them and you just make it look at it as if uh, you've handwritten it. So on this one, I'm going to go back to using the brighter blue. Again, just that little bit of contrast. And as you can see, you just line it up. And it kind of looks like handwriting. It's really cool. So I'm just going to go for Dream It and Do It. So we just need to take each stamp set as we each stamp as we go and line them all up. Now I'd recommend cleaning your stamps as you go because otherwise what happens is you get messy, messy fingers like I've got. But it's just no fun watching somebody clean their stamps. So. It just means you get a bit messy. Okay, so that is my sentiment done. Just move all of my inky stamps that need cleaning to the side. And let's bring back in my layout. So I'm going to start by layering up my images. I'm going to show you that trick I mentioned earlier, how to neaten your images when they're on stuck down. What I love about Tombow is you do have that wiggle room so you can really make sure that things are neat and straight. That is the wrong piece. That is the excess rather than the piece I'm looking for. Okay, so what you need to do if you have some fluffy edges is just take a pair of scissors and be careful when you're doing this and run them along the edge of the photo. And this just tidies up any fluffy edges and gives you that finished look that you're looking for. That's a big bit of fluff, let's just go with that. Okay, so do the same. Now when you're actually printing and the edges are black, what you can do if you really want is go over with a black pen and just colour in the black edges. But I'm fine. Okay, so bringing our big piece back in layer this up how we want it and we're just going to slide this in until we're happy with the positioning okay so happy with all this but now we just need to flip it around and stick it all down in place And I do like to just go back and check that I'm happy with the positioning because I can move it thanks to the fact that I'm using Tombow glue. There we go. So now I'm happy with that. That's why I don't often use things like um, snail adhesive because I'm a bit, I don't like it when something's just, just slightly in the wrong place. Okay. So 
And now for our final piece. Just stick that down. And what I do really like about scrapbooking um, and about special memories like this is actually these don't need to go in an album. This could go on the wall. You could pop it in a picture frame and then you can treasure special memories um, once you've made them just a little bit prettier. Okay, so that is uh, my layout for this month. I hope you give stamping a go on your scrapbook pages and remember that you don't need to do something really fancy or elaborate. You can just stick to really simple stamping and using photos and stamping and merging them together just to create something. It doesn't need to be uh, uber fancy. Um, please do share any creations that you've made this month on our Facebook page. Uh, we love it when you guys get inspired um, and well get creating um, because really we all learn from each other. So thanks so much for watching today. I hope you have a great day. Happy crafting.